All right, what's good, YouTube? It's Jay here. So I wanted to kind of do like a little spotlight on one of the newer, or, or well, I guess you could say adjusted units, and that's the Dreadnought Cruiser. The Dreadnought Cruiser got a colossal facelift in terms of its design philosophy. I'm pretty certain a lot of its gameplay elements also got adjusted just a wee bit. But the biggest thing is definitely the new outward appearance, which kind of sometimes reminds me of an Interceptor-esque cruiser. Uh, but I really, really do enjoy this design. Some people kind of refer to it as, I, th I think, like a Halcyon design from, like, Halo or something. Which, to a degree, I can actually see that. We're, we're doing a little mock battle here between the Rebels and the uh, Imperials or the, the, the Remnant or whatever you want to call it. Both sides are all using Dreadnought Cruisers and just spamming missiles literally everywhere. And to be fair, you won't see too many battles where I guess there's just, like, 12 Dreadnought Cruisers fighting off against each other. But I wanted to just kind of put footage of this out there for people to see. Just the new designs, the new weapons, kind of. I guess we really won't see too much of the new weapons. But we will get some really, really beautiful battles out of it, so. The Dreadnought Cruiser now comes equipped with... Let's see, where, where's one of our Dreadnought Cruisers? So here's basically a full breakdown of the ship. It has a hull strength of 11,000. It has a... Or I'm sorry, a shield strength of 11,000, a hull strength of 20,000. Has a new special ability called fire the missiles and if you want to know what that is you basically right click this ability to automate missile launch at appropriate targets this ability exists for the ai to function better without targeting so you basically just leave this ability to do its own thing pretty much it comes with heavy turbo lasers medium turbo lasers and heavy uh high explosive missiles i always get he mixed up but yeah the dreadnought cruiser has just gotten an overall facelift to the way it just performs in game the way it looks and it looks it's honestly pretty fun to use i'm probably gonna try to build these in numbers i think the dreadnought cruiser was actually out of remake for a while if i'm not mistaken but it is nice to see it make its return finally after some time and again with a brand new look to it we're also losing dreadnought cruisers like crazy and all of our starfighters i think it's the uh tie defenders that are uh shooting down everything right now oh wait we just wiped the floor with them with those high explosive missiles Okay, so yeah, the high explosive missiles will actually do a ton of damage. And we're down to just a couple of starfighters and uh, some dreadnought cruisers now. The interceptors are flying about. Oh, wow. Okay. I just realized all 12 of their ships are still intact. I'm pretty certain it has something to do with the TIE Defenders just rinsing through them. Their explosive missiles with their proton torpedoes and... Everything of the sort. And yes, the Dreadnought Cruiser does have a death clone, so you can see it right there. As it falls to the planet below, killing a small family of 10. I guess it's actually a pretty big family. But the Dreadnought Cruiser, like most units in Empire will, Empire will Remake, does in fact come with a death clone. And I'm sorry, I just fumbled the usage of the word remake right there. Okay, we're down to uh, five Dreadnoughts, but we're um, holding the line, sort of, kind of, right? It does have a shield generator hardpoint too, which I don't think it had previously. Oh yeah, we can just see all these broadsiding lasers just going crazy right now. Let's see if we can get a better angle on them. Yep, all the turrets obviously like in the typical remake fashion are all animated. And we can see these broadside weapons just kind of going crazy right now. Oh yeah, we're losing so many ships right now. <laughs> Honestly, I do plan on doing a little bit of skirmish gameplay, but the AI is unfortunately not ready for that yet. So what I do have planned is for me, Jaron, and I believe some of the other remake devs, do some online multiplayer matches because multiplayer does in fact work in remake now so we can we can make that happen oh yeah six dreadnought cruisers just firing down on one this thing is not gonna last very long but i do want to try seeing what like six of these maybe six to eight of these versus like an imperial class star destroyer will feel like one unit i've always wanted to kind of see in remake is the assault frigate mark one with like the design aesthetics of the dreadnought cruiser in this mod I don't know if that'll ever happen one day, but it would be pretty cool to see what it would look like in the Empire War Remake art style. And here we're going to do a mock battle versus a Star Destroyer squadron with a couple of uh, support units. Now, don't take these as actual TIE defenders. What those units actually are, and I didn't know they were actually even in the mod, those are TIE droid fighters from like the World Devastator. Also, we're going to be using some of the newly remodeled Imperial Escort carriers and with some support from our dear friend Sarkly right here versus this little squadron of uh, enemy units. But uh, let's go ahead and get these guys into the battle, see how they feel, take out some of these droid TIE fighters while we're at it too. And let's go crazy. Yeah, here's the TIE droid fighter. 
Although it's not really obeying my commands, unfortunately. So we're on our own here. That's fine. Okay. Let's let the battle kind of play out a little bit here. There's a lot of explosion effects, missile effects kind of going crazy right now. Holy cow. Look at the Imperial Escort carriers, man. They really did get a huge facelift. I guess this really isn't a good example of a mock battle. Because we just blatantly outnumber that Star Destroyer in typical Jay the Gamer fashion when it comes to recording these kind of videos. Alright, they're meshing all together and I don't think that's intentional. So we're going to kind of split them up a little bit. They're chasing this guy down. Oh yeah, these guys are chasing him down, dude. Look at all the missiles they're just spewing at that guy. I think our droids are kind of getting active right now. There's no description for them. I honestly didn't even know these were in the mod. Um, are they going to shoot at these guys? I don't even know if they're technically functioning units or not. You see, though, we did take a little bit of damage across pretty much all of our all of our uh, Dreadnought cruisers. Most of them have no shields and have some kind of hull damage. But even in numbers, you know, I wouldn't rely on the Dreadnought Cruiser to be the end-all, be-all. It's still a very flawed unit being it's that older Republic era pre-Clone Wars tag. It was designed to be used in Wolfpack numbers, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, that's not entirely true. I remember the Dreadnought Cruiser being actually pretty dang powerful in its lore, so I could just be wrong about that. I'm just straight up lying right now, so ignore me. Ignore me entirely. It is nice to see these escort carriers with their new looks, though. Just maneuvering about, popping off their missiles, turbo lasers on top of them, shooting off. You've got the Artai Hunters in the field right now, of which are the only surviving starfighters from our squadrons. And boy, oh boy, do they look good, too. The TIE Hunter is probably one of the most underutilized starfighters in Star Wars, but that's basically because it's just a literal X-Wing with a TIE Fighter skin on top of it. Like, verbatim, this thing is literally just the X-Wing with also, like, shielding, ion cannons, a hyperdrive, proton torpedo launchers, laser cannons. Like, the thing literally is a do-it-all fighter. It's just one subclass away from basically being a TIE Defender. It's a little ridiculous. But I don't think it's really that powerful in this mod. This one actually has secret torpedoes, too. <laughs> yeah, the next time we do, like, an Empire playthrough or something, I will 100% be using the TIE Hunter in numbers. We've gotten so distracted a couple of times here, just trying to focus on the Dreadnought Cruisers, uh, because we've got so many cool units actually in Remake now, it's just kind of hard to pay attention to one thing at a time. There's so many new things that are going to be shown off in the next couple of days. The Dauntless Cruiser got a complete relive, facelift, overhaul, whatever you want to call it. It's, it looks different, it's more powerful. I don't have that to my availability yet, but when I do, I will 100% make a video on like a Celestion like fleet squadron or whatever, and then try to do like a 1v1 between a Dauntless and an Imperial class one and two. The armor on the Dauntless cruiser is apparently par parallel to that of an Imperial class two Star Destroyer. So we'll have to kind of play with it and see how it feels. But that's gonna be it for me guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this Star Wars Empire War remake video, be sure to leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel for more gaming content. And as always, this has been your boy, Jay the Gamer. I hope you all have a great day. May the force be with you all. Peace.